Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. Today, I wanted to create a video about how I almost flunked out of nursing school, but it did not happen. <laughs> this is supposed to be a motivational, inspirational video for anyone out there that is um, going through a season of hardship and struggle. Um, you're trying to achieve a goal and you're having some difficulty, so I just want to be transparent and share my story of how I was able to make it through that really, really hard time in my life and eventually end up becoming a nurse. So to kind of go to the beginning and give you a little bit of a backstory, I always knew I wanted to be a nurse. Ever since I was like maybe 10 years old, I had decided that I wanted to, when I get older, I want to go, I want to be a nurse. I want to be, um, go to a nursing school, um, specifically back home in Florida. And I had my entire plan when I was 10, <laughs> where I was gonna to go to school and what type of occupation that I wanted. It wasn't until later that I decided I wanted to be a pediatric nurse, but from then on, that was the goal that I worked towards. So when I got into college and I saw the amount of girls, really men and women, that were gonna be applied to the program because at the time when I was in college, it wasn't like you automatically, after your two years of doing your general studies, you went right into the nursing program. You had to apply. And so when I realized the amount of competition that would, I would be facing and going up against, I think that's when I started to have some doubt about whether I could do it or not. I really did deal with a lot of low self-esteem and low confidence um, in college. And thankfully, a lot of the friends that I made throughout college um, kind of helped um, instill more confidence in me. As, and as also, as I matured, I gained more confidence. But that was definitely something that I struggled a lot with my first two years, feeling like I wasn't good enough or smart enough to be in the program. So obviously I made good grades. <laughs> I still did well in my general studies and when it was time to apply, um, I believe they had a thousand applicants and they only allowed a hundred people into the program. So I ended up applying to um, the program at the university I was, I was attending and also at another school across the way, just in case I didn't get in since I knew that it was so much competition. So I applied and I got in <laughs> and I was actually really surprised. I, I could not believe when I had got the letter in the mail that it said, Brittany, you've been accepted to the nursing program. And that right there really started <laughs> the self doubt. Okay. So I start the program with all my best friends. We're all nervous. We've heard all these stories about people that have flunked out, girls that have failed out and didn't get the 75%. So I was just so scared that that was going to end up being me. I was going to end up being one of those girls that was totally humiliated, got into the program, flunked out, and was now facing having to change my whole entire major and my whole entire life plans. <laughs> so it just really kept running in my head that this was going to probably end up being me and this is going to be my story. Um, and that's one thing I want to point out. A lot of times, side note, whatever story you're telling yourself about your reality, your life, or whatever you expect to happen in life, it most likely it's going to happen. And th this, this situation really, um, taught me a lesson about even if you're going through a challenging time in life, you have to be able to see yourself being successful, seeing yourself succeeding, seeing yourself accomplishing your goal. And if you can't see that for yourself, then how can it become your reality? Okay. So I was seeing myself flunking. <laughs> so at the time when I was in the program, you had to make a 75 and up to pass. Um, if you made a 74.4, um, that was a D and you failed that class. <laughs> so the typical, like in most programs, you know, typically a 74 is a C, but in the nursing program, it's not. And honestly, it makes sense. Like you need to know your stuff. You need to be well above the, um, you know, you don't want to be average. You want to be exceeding. So 
I believe I had about four core classes. You know, you got your foundations of nursing, you got your health assessment. Uh, for my nurses out there, you got your pathophysiology. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about if you're in the nursing program or if you're interested in nursing. So I took all these classes um, but I really did struggle with one of the classes and I believe it was foundations. Um, I had a hard time. It involved a lot of critical thinking. And the problem is like nursing is not black and white, right? So you're going to, when you get into the nursing program, develop your ability to um, medical terminology and different things like that and your ability to critically think and to read a scenario and decide, okay, this is what you think is going on or whatever the question specifically is asking for. So I really struggled with that. And along with my self-doubt, that really didn't help. So long story short, um, I was doing well in some of the classes and some of the classes I was struggling in. And in that one particular class that I was struggling in, I was right on the cusp, like, <laughs> It was like, it was crazy. Like looking back on it, like I, I can't even believe this happened. Like I was probably, I had to be around that 75 mark and I was really stressing y'all about whether I was going to pass this class or not to the point where my hair started falling out. Okay. So when I was in a nursing program, my hair started falling out. Um, I was at the time also having family issues um i went into a really deep depression i had also boyfriend relationship issues and i had to start letting the boyfriends go because i had to really focus on the whole reason why i came to college so you know at the end of the day when i took my finals and when it was all said and done i made some a's i made some b's and i made a d the D that I made was based on my final. And with the score that I had on my final exam, it literally put me at a, I believe it was like a 74.4 or it was a 74.6, but she still made it a D. So I still got a D. And when I tell you the amount of devastation and just, how I felt in that moment, um, I can't even explain. You know, like, I don't have a lot of uh, family members. I don't have, a, at the time, I didn't have a lot of family members that had gone to college. There wasn't really too many people in my family that I could call that could really understand like what I was going through. The only people at that time in my life that could really truly understand the, the pain and devastation that I felt were my friends that um, were in the program with me as well. So one of my best friends passed all her classes and went on to, to the, the next phase of nursing. And one of my other best friends failed a class as well. So in that time, we pretty much um, leaned on one another emotionally. And I stayed at my university. I did not leave and go back home. So side note, what a lot of girls or anyone that's in those nursing programs sometimes would do when they fail a class, you have to sit a whole semester out, okay? So that next semester, you can't retake that class. You have to sit a whole year out and wait that next year to take that class. And so that's why it's a big devastation because you cannot pick up the next semester and then continue on with the program at my nursing school. And actually, I think it was the same way for the whole entire city. All It was like that every nursing program in a particular college city that I was um, going to school in. So I set out that semester. I pretty much um, took random classes. <laughs> I took a dance class. I took some other classes. I don't know. I took some other classes just to kind of keep me in school so that I wouldn't fall to like dropping out, <laughs> you know, or going back home and then not even accomplishing my goal, or I just didn't want to start at another program or another nursing school. So I waited it out. Um, and in that time, I worked heavy on my self-work. This is the time that I really got into like, um, listening to Joel Osteen, listening to T.D. Jakes, um, listen to a lot of motivational speakers 
and really, really working on my self-worth because at the end of the day, it wasn't that I was not smart enough. It wasn't that um, I wasn't good enough. It just, it was that I did not believe in myself <laughs> pretty much. That's what it was. And I'm going to tell you the rest of the story and you're going to see like why I'm saying this, okay? So following year, I pick up in the program. I take that class again. And when I tell you I pass with flying colors, y'all, I passed with flying colors. Like I, I went back, you know, um, at that point, the pressure that I had put on myself was a what I didn't have it anymore. I looked at it as, you know, I've already sat out a whole year. My whole family knows that I didn't, um, you know, pass this class. Like people already know what's going on. So at this point, there's nothing worse that can happen to me. So if it does not work out, I see this as this was not meant for me to do this with my life. So taking the pressure off and also working on my self worth and value, I think allowed me to relax and be able to really believe in myself and to be able to do well. So I made all A's. I made all A's and B's when I came back. And from then on, throughout the rest of the program, I like did well. I, I did so, so good. And, um, you know, I made it to the end. When, it, when the end came, I was ready <laughs> because I didn't do four years of college. I did five. And uh, along with my best friend, we both did five together. And, you know, it was just a learning experience that I really took for me for the rest of my life. You know, uh, sometimes things happen. Sometimes we hit obstacles that are out of our control and unexpected things happen. But we just have to move forward and do the best that we can. And even if you have a goal and let's say you're in a program and you fail completely out, um, so with nursing, if you fail two classes, you're done. That's it. There is no retaking any classes. <laughs> so thank God that did not happen. It was just one class that I happened to not do well in and I took it again and I did great the next time, made an A. So even if it would have been a situation where I, um, you know, fell two classes, then I would have just picked myself up and I would have came up with a whole nother game plan for my life. But thankfully that did not happen. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and be transparent because, you know, sometimes things like this happen and it's okay. Like you're going to be okay. Um, there were a lot of nights that I cried, you know, like I said, my hair fell out. I was in a really deep depression, but in the end it all worked out. So I thank you guys for watching this video and I hope it's helpful to somebody out there. And um, please give this video a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.